This is Donald the Bird from the Night Attack Christmas Gift Guide from Stephen Cogswell. Get it at otfi.com slash guide. Well, well, I used to be a bird just the other day. I had the wings and I had the bill. But then I ran across some petulant woman that said, You're no bird. You're just an angry little duck. It's me, Donald the Bird. Also known as Donald the Duck. Ducks are birds, by the way. It's me, Donald the Bird. Donald, I'm Donald. Donald, I'm Donald the Bird Duck. Donald the Bird's a great fucking song. Like, fucking, that was great. WTFLOL BBQ live from New York. It's me screaming in a hotel room because it's a Tuesday night and I don't care where I am. It is go time for Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my BFF and OAK. It's Jake. Oh, why? What is up, Justin Robert Bird? Man, that, I'm not kidding, man. That That was a great song. Like that, that's that's one of those like 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 mountain goats kind of like just like uh, 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 asynchronous like beautiful choruses. I'm, I'm Donald the the duck or Donald the bird, also known as Donald the duck. It's fucking great. Uh, I love that pregnant switcheroo. Every time he says Donald the, and your brain says one thing, and he says bird, and then also corrects you. Like birds are d- ducks are birds. Uh, we got it. We got a bundle of these. Do you want to? You want to take a moment and take a stroll down memory lane lane of last week's show? <laughs> uh, if there's one that you remember uh, uh, being really, really great, I would say we we can pop that on. Otherwise, I'm sure we can take a leisurely stroll through the uh, through in the after show. Oh, that's a good call. Uh, you know what? I don't remember any of that. We've talked about this this bizarre mass amnesia that happens every every show. I, I like every time I hear it. Surely I was not asking whether or not you remember the moments for which they were brought from. That is wholly unrealistic that no human could possibly remember seven days ago. Uh, I was I was uh, inquiring whether or not you'd listen to them between. Oh, no, then. I intentionally held off. Like I saw that we had this potpourri of seven songs. I listened to one or two. I think Smokey Boobs was the one I listened to. But then I held on to the rest to uh, to experience well, with you. Infowars hat was really good. Let, 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 let's go ahead and just let, let let's spin Infowars hat real quick. <clears throat> My eyes have seen the coming of another Infowars, another Infowars hat on my head. My eyes have seen the coming of another Infowars. If you don't get it now, you will soon be dead. Hello, it's me, Pierce Morgan. Now I bear no ill will against you blokes in the colonies, even though I'm a right cunt, ain't I? Just take it from me and my friend, <laughs> Alex Jones. Alex? Pierce, you and I know that there's a lot of people out here that don't have hats, okay? If you try to take the hats, we will take our country back. The, the corporations, right on down to George Soros and everybody else. If you don't give me the money for my hat, you will also pay the price. Isn't that right, Pierce? <laughs> the iron pice price, Alex. <laughs> Sorry I said price instead of price. You know, it's not like me to mess up. <laughs> anyway, I want this hat, my TV. <laughs> I'm coffee. I've seen the coming of another in the woods. Hat, oh, it looks pretty nice. But in order to get the simple you gotta pay the iron price The iron price You gotta pay it price oh The amazing God. part to me The amazing part to me is that the whole second half of the song Came from, from just a riff Midway through the bridge uh, oh, It's so perfect. good it, Listen, uh, uh, number one we say it every week. We will continue to say it because we hope he continues to show up every week. And that is Stephen Cogswell, the God. Uh, uh, and when powered by the nitrous of, uh, of, of, of Mike TV, just amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, uh, Autfee.com, of course, A-W-T-F-Y. 
uh, dot com is where you can get all the Cogswell stuff. And then what, what, what was the URL on this guide? Guide, G-U-I-D-E. Yep. Holy shit. Hey, Brian, uh, uh, for those of you who are watching uh, Brian slowly descend into his impressionist period, uh, you will notice that he's not in uh, uh, that he is not in his studio in Austin. Uh, where are you, Brian? Uh, I'm in uh, no, I'm in New York City. Thank you very much, Bryce, for cutting to the camera to show me not there. Uh, I'm in New York City at the insane uh, one hotel at Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, I on the pre-show, which by the way uh, you'll be able to see and listen to if you are a, a Patreon. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm here on vacation, uh, just uh, just vacating as one does. We um, all know what but, happens when Brian's on vacation. Jacking it until noon. <laughs> I, 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 was, I wish. Uh, it turns out they, they, they collect me at eight. Uh, hey, so I, pay, I spent money for the promised land. I heard the good news, and I was told that it's time for me to shut the hell up and be that guy. And when I dropped off Nate Staniforth at the uh, airport, I parked, walked inside without a flight this last week, and signed up for Clear. Wait, Clear? Yeah. Because oh. everybody who had it was sin its praises. They're, no. they're, here's the problem. Look, the monetary supply has been polluted the whole world gets TSA pre now, and the line at TSA pre. You gonna stand in that line? Just wait there like a chump? No, you gonna get that there, line. There, there, is, there is an argument for it. I've always thought Clear was kind of a ripoff because of how few places it was. But if it's at the re if it's at the 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 airport that you're probably flying out of. For those of you who don't know, here's what here's what Clear is. Uh, everybody else. So number one, let's uh, let let's slice out humanity a little bit. There's the unwashed masses. Congratulations. You are in a line anywhere, stretching anywhere from 30 minutes to seven hours uh, waiting for uh, to get through TSA. When you get to TSA, you now have to uh, do all the TSA stuff. You got to take lift your sack, you know, uh, 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 give uh, everybody your social security number, do all that. Right. Then yep. there's TSA pre shorter line, although expanding because there's more and more people that are doing it. Uh, but you get to a, a few privileges. You're not taking your shoes off. You don't got to go through their murder machine, which is implanting you with thetans for George Soros. Um, and then there's clear. Clear works with both. It just makes sure that you get to the front of whatever line you are cleared for. Now, I never really thought that the benefit was all that much better because because the TSA pre lines when I go early in the morning are never really all that bad. But uh, uh, I, I would say if you are looking at long TSA pre lines, then yeah, no, it would be it would make a it would make sense to do it. Yeah, well, and and uh, Dan Martin sung the praises of it. Uh, Nate Staniforth sung the praises of it, and I knew that Austin was one of the clear places. So I'm like, well, hell, let's just go ahead and do this. And part of the thing, like, well, I guess uh, let's let's cut to the chase of my first clear experience. My right. first clear experience was after being told. That it would be bliss, heaven in a bottle, honey yeah. dripped over, God's come. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I, I show up today. Clear allowed me to pass a line of exactly eight people where they were happy to guide me to the regular, not TSA pre checkpoint. Because despite the fact that I definitely asked them, is TSA pre included? And they said yes. Because what's it cost? Like twenty dollars in a taco to get TSA pre. That's why everyone has it. That's why you got to get clear. Is because everybody's got TSA pre. They all think they're equal. They don't understand that they're inferior uh, uh, Beatles beneath my boot heel. That was the original title of the first Beatles album, by the way. Uh, and uh, I my was boot heel beneath my boot heel. I was walking around, but now I'm getting squished. I I was lied to and then they they take me up and they're like okay bye and then uh I, and i go to walk through and, I, and i'm like i'm not in tsa pre at all and uh and i say excuse me to i interrupt the lady checking ids and i say excuse me i thought that uh that because i'm clear i would be tsa pre and she goes like let me see your ticket and you're like nope you're not and then that's that and then i called i, I text dan martin 
And I'm like, well, guess who's opting out and spending 20 minutes getting fondled like usual? Uh, and and he's like, oh, I just assumed you already had TSA pre. And I'm like, motherfucker, what brought this whole thing up is that I didn't get TSA pre because TSA pre isn't 100%. So I keep holding out. The perfect is the enemy of the good. And I keep holding out for global entry because I know global entry is supposed to be 100% TSA pre all the time. No bullshit. No, no normal people crap. But the problem is, talk to Normie so again, Ryan. Their their shit is so Byzantine that you have to make an appointment three months out and you get a gig between now and that appointment. Oh, too bad, so sad. Why don't you sign up for another three months out with the worst fucking website of anything on the internet? Um, not happy, Justin. I paid for clear, and now I feel like the only thing to do is to chase, throw good money after bad, and get go pay some chump to do TSA pre now. Have to you have to like number one if 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 you do not have TSA pre I mean you need global entry that's what you need and and yes and, 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 all right so what do you have an appointment now for global no entry? no I got I. I got, I, 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 do you think I know what I'm going to be doing three months from now, any day, three months from now and look me in the eye and tell me that you can say for certain that any of us can know what I'm going to be doing. Brian, I didn't know what I was doing three months from now. And at the point that I got a uh, global entry, I was traveling more than you were at that time with the, with, 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 with the stage show. You just always have to be perpetually kicking the can down the road until eventually the Plinko chip lands in the right place. Yes. Yes, you're right. Also, I should mow my lawn regularly and recycle. And also, I, there's a lot of things that I should be doing. So did you go yell at the, uh, at the Clear Lady? Because by the way, I have, I have a fight with Clear Story for you. I was a Clear subscriber oh. for a while. No, no, I was too embarrassed. I was too embarrassed because I was suckered because I, I thought I thought I was told I was sold a bill of goods twice once by Dan Martin. I love you, Dan, but fuck you in the face. Uh, number two from the clear people. And I very clearly asked. What's, so TSA what's, what's, what's Dan's Twitter? We need Dan's Twitter right now. We no. got to make sure that we settle this here. <laughs> that you lied. Text everybody tweet Dan Martin. You lied to Brian about TSA pre and that's no, on you for. No, 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 he, he meant well. He meant well. He just assumed that I was a responsible and adult. We understand. All right. Revised tweet. We understand you meant well, but you lied to Brian and we'll never forget. It. Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, so how did you get in a fight with Clear? I got into a fight with Clear because for whatever reason, there was a discrepancy in my uh, uh, paperwork because without getting too far into it, on my driver's license, I have a hyphenated last name of Young and my mom's maiden name. And uh, uh, for whatever reason, on their thing, it just had my first name, right? And so it's very easy. Everybody at the airport gets over it, right? Like if, if my reservation says Justin Young and my ID says Justin Young dash my mom's maiden name, Everybody picks up on it. That it's like, okay, whatever. This is just a different a colloquial thing. Not clear. I get into a fight with this lady. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. It is absolutely, it, like, there's nobody even in line. I'm literally just going there to get worth out of my my clear membership. And she is Wait, just so, being... So, so I, missed, I missed that part. I, I had to drop off briefly. Did you pay for a clear membership or was it included in something? No, no, no. It was paid through through my work at the time. Like they offered to they offered to do it, but uh, uh, I it was it was being paid for, and I I, I just got like it was I am very 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 lenient about uh, 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 all kinds of customer service because I always feel bad for customer service, especially customer service at the airport because everybody's in such a shitty mood and yada yada yada. But like that lady was just all up in my shit and was just like, nope, sorry, nope. Like I'm like. Wait, what are you talking? You better get on the phone to a manager. You no, better no, like, hold on, hold on. Your even job if, even be if, the concierge. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, and here's the thing: if, if uh, like they don't even, I never pulled out my ID. My ID was my fingers and my eyes and 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 the the biometrics that they take. How like uh, did they see it on the ticket and say that's not you? I yeah. I, 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 it's been a while, so I don't remember the exact the, the the exact back and forth. But that that is what it was. Is that their their record of me was not 
the airplane's record of me, and there was nothing that the lady could do about it, and I wound up getting into a months-long fight. In fact, I'll tell you what. Here, if you can, uh, <laughs> I can scan real quick so I can read you my sternly worded email to to clear. Oh, my God. See, this is like a... Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel like we're unpacking because the story I always got is that everything was great. You're the champion of travel. You never have anything to go wrong. And then there's a little crack in the facade as I hear about the time that uh, that didn't get TSA pre and that you said, uh, well, at least you've obeyed the letter of the law, if not the spirits. <laughs> Good oh, day, yeah. sir. I doff my cap to you. Uh, uh, now, no, now that I, was definitely the fight. The fight that I got to, uh, uh, I got in with, uh, <laughs> I got in with, with, with the Austin uh, uh, TSA. Uh, oh man, I'm trying to find. Uh, uh, anyway, all right, this is uh, uh, this is this is probably not great, uh, great podcasting material. Uh, but anyway, no, uh, I, 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 I am, I am steadfast. I don't think Clear's worth it. Uh, uh, I think that the only way to roll is global entry, and you just got to, you just got to keep. Rolling those die, like like uh, literally when this podcast is over, Brian, you need to go make your dumb appointment on their stupid website, and okay, then but, if but, you but can't do it, if you can't do it, so, you just got to kick it down again. Their website is so insanely dumb, and the it password is, uh, requirements. Bryce, look up, look up this website. This is like 1991. They have not updated anything. And by the way, this is to get you access to wherever you want in the world. It gets you what is called a known passenger ID number, meaning that you are exempt from a certain level of scrutiny. You can come in and out of the country and a machine just asks you, hey, is everything cool? And you're like, yup. And you hit a button that says Y-U-P exclamation point, And it says, cool, brah. And you literally just walk in with whatever explosives you want. Uh, so, so here, see if you can pass. Here's a fun mini game for you. See if you, uh, uh, well, I don't want to say use any password that you've actually used before, but use a password similar to passwords you've used before and watch as it ridiculously and hilariously restricts you to essentially, like, you keep saying passwords and it keeps saying nope. until It's like that scene in The Jerk when somebody wins the Guess Your Weight uh, prize and he's like, anything you want, anything, any of these, well, anything from this top row, anything from... From the first three, uh, anything between the chiclets and this uh, eraser, but not including the two of them. Until finally, everybody only has one password. It's all one password. Oh, my God. All right. I found my sternly worded email. Are you ready for my sternly worded email to clear? Feeling it. I'm feeling it. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Daniela was her, uh, was, what was her name. Daniela. I'm writing you to, oh, there's no email that start that, and that ends well, that begins with, I'm writing you, unless you're in the Civil War. <laughs> Although, do me a favor, I want you to read this as if you're in a Ken Burns documentary. I want you to read it as if this is from the front. Uh, I'm writing you to complain about my experience with Clear at SFO. My flight is boarding now <laughs> because I'm fucking writing one of those like those those uh, fucking super arrogant uh, preambles in like a, a biography. I write this forward as I wait on my plane to Morocco. My dearest Daniela, as I sit here in first class <laughs> in 5A, uh, my heart compels me that I should reach out to you to speak oh my about God. my experiences. All right, my flight is boarding now, but I am taking up the little time I have to write this to you. Let me start by saying that I was a big proponent of getting Clear access for my entire company. I brought it up. I made initial contact with Clear. I was the first to sign up. In short, I was, and theoretically am, a fan of your concept and company. Here's the problem. <laughs> My entire platoon did cheer five huzzas at the mention of Clear's name. <laughs> Indeed, we had a festival in which many harmonicas and violins bedazzled the night sky with music. The Clear card I was issued does not have my fully hyphenated name on it. My name on my license and passport, which I used to get my card, is, uh, and mine only reads, what? 
This has led to confusion many times going through clear, but I've been consistently told that a misprinted card was something that could be skipped as long as I was in the process of getting a new card and passed the other tests, photo, fingerprint, etc. Dramatic paragraph break. That was until today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit! That shit always so satisfying when you type it, and then it, it never holds up when you read it the next morning. Like I, I, extra oh. asterisks, uh, all caps, extra ellipses, all of that feels so super dramatic, and it all looks so petty. Uh, this morning. The clear representative at Terminal 1 not only told me that I was not allowed to go through, but that she was aware of my situation. Parenthetical. I fly out of SFO at least once a week. I want to shoot myself in the mouth. Uh, and that every time I'd gone through was previously against the rules. <laughs> I am not arguing that my card isn't an issue. When I first brought it up uh, to me as an issue, I filled out a form and I was told I would get a new card. What bothers me is that the representative knew of my situation. I was treated like a serial rule breaker who'd finally been stopped as opposed to a customer of a premium service with a problem that needed to be solved. Since I've been getting upgraded to TSA Pre for most of my flights, I am canceling my clear membership, and this pushes me further to do exactly that. Thank you, Justin Young. <laughs> uh, we go now live to the clear headquarters where panic, pandemonium, people have lost all grip on reality. There have been three suicides and 25 uh, 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 shouting attacks. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, clear, <laughs> according to the CEO, quote, clear cannot possibly survive in the face of such scathing anti-testimony. <laughs> and lo, clear was defeated at the Battle of SFO. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, Ron Howard says, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, Justin didn't cancel his clear membership. True story. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing. The empty threat of cancellation is just so vapid, man. Nobody, nobody cares. <laughs> also, wait, here's, here's, do you want to read the email that they wrote back? Oh, uh, yeah, may I guess? Uh, something along the lines of, uh, we take your concerns very seriously. All right, just listen to the wording on this. Justin, I sincerely and wholeheartedly apologize for your experience using Clear at SFO today. Thank you for writing us such a detailed note about your experience. <laughs> is a dude, is a dude making uh, $10 an hour who's just like, I don't get, get this guy out of my face. Get the fuck out of here with your fucking tome. Oh. oh, God. So fucking good. I mean, so the money is already spent, right? So I guess I guess I'll just do TSA pre because at least at least that's fast. And, and, and I could it's not like doing TSA pre will disqualify me from eventually doing it right and getting global entry. No, no, no. Get get TSA pre for the year. Right. And yep. then uh, uh, put your literally put your name on the uh, on the appointment list for global entry. Uh, uh, you're never going to find the day that you know what you're doing three months from now, but you can always kick the can down three months from so when words, you can like buy, it. buy the lottery ticket. It's like, uh, like, like, like the guy who keeps praying to God to win the lottery. And finally God's like, buy a ticket, dumbass. Like, uh, that's what I got to do. Also at some point, the, the other side of the coin is going to be right. And it's like, Oh man, all the girls have uh, a camp and uh, a recital and uh, a science fair at the same time. Uh, Brian, which of the girls are you going to take? And you're like, sorry, honey. Going to have to do the two global entry <laughs> appointment. I just got a report. That white whale that was spotted three months ago. I mean, you know, she's right there, right for the salmon. Bye. I mean, there's also anyway, the fact, Brian, you that you literally do make your own schedule now. You're not on the road anymore. So... I know, I know. I, I, it, it was a more valid argument, you know, three or four years ago 
But now, <laughs> now it's I'm still angry. I'm still seething about that experience. Ugh, ugh so mad. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It's fine. Uh, I'll be sure uh, as Twitch. favorite toothpaste. Uh, uh, makes, makes the point that we will be I'll be writing as soon as this is done Dear Twitch front page guy I am writing you today as we Wrap up our stream which we noticed Was not on the front page uh, Hey tell you what uh, if you want to uh, Support this show you can go ahead and do so Right here uh, uh, at Patreon.com slash Night attack uh, uh, It's the best way where you can continue To uh, make uh, Us money <laughs> Uh, yeah, or more importantly, keep the show alive and 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 rocking right in the face of the world's Americas. I mean, listen, all the Americas. Uh, we've uh, uh, you know there there there's we got a couple we got a couple big travel uh, 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 conflicts coming up. Brian is in New York right now. I'm going to be in Japan in a couple weeks, and we're going to make sure that we get episodes to you guys each and every week. Thanks to Patreon.com uh, uh, slash Night Attack. Uh, also, uh, 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 Brian, uh, are you going to be able to do uh, do the bit here tonight? Let me let me let me take a look. I, I might have to uh, work off a mobile device. Uh, uh, give me one second uh, here. Explain right. what we're doing. So what, what here's what happens every single week. You know, we want to uh, recognize the people that have uh, uh, continued to make this the kind of show that it is. If you, between now and next week, either become a new patron of Night Attack or adjust your uh, pledge upward, you will be a part of a very hollowed tradition. Isn't that right, Bryce? That's right. Uh, you can be a part of this thing that we... How long have we been doing this bit that we're about to get into? More than a year? I, it, this is over a year, right? I mean, at least over a year. Yeah. we. I mean... We, yeah, I mean, because that was near the start of when I started doing the live switching on the show. Uh, uh, so this is a this is a, a tradition. Like before, it was us farting around that it was a tradition. Now it really, really is. So many people have been a part of uh, of one of the biggest things that we do on the show. It is called the. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the night attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of. <laughs> All right, man. I don't know what he's doing, I, and I don't know how to make any jokes about it. I feel like I feel like I feel like it's this Eddie person, Hospital Man. This this person uh, is just a, a real well-meaning good guy. Uh, this is a strong a strong characterization of whoever this person may be. Man, what's a guy who's just a uh, a real nice guy? Like, what kind of nice guy stuff adventures is he gonna get into? Yeah. Is he adopting a puppy? Is he helping an old lady across the <laughs> he, street? Uh, you know, he's just putting his head down, probably fighting social injustice, probably, probably, probably trying to right the past wrongs of history. I'd like to think. Okay. God. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, let's. Big- Hear it for Benjamin White. Benjamin White. Benjamin. 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 Benjamin White. Benjamin White. I'm going to do talking. Hold on, what did I do? Benjamin White. I have no audio. I have no audio, but the visuals I'm seeing are are are. are Benjamin White. And where are the white Benjamins at? Oh, thank you so much, Ben. And also, hey, if yeah. you're if you're a subscriber here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash night attack, uh, we open up the sub box and we'll go full cam girl for one minute. Uh, let's let's do a let's do a, 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 a speed round, just as fast as we can. Everybody at once. We're only gonna you know, like there you go. Uh, Ren, one uh, minute. Here we go. One, Time's on the clock. That one right there. Ren Igu, thank you so much for a hundred dollars. 
Uh, bits. Uh, That's bits. Fine. Oh, sorry, my, hundred bits. That, totally different thing. Hundred dollars in our hearts. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Scott Swan. Twenty-five bits. Yeah. Thank you, ICU, for the hundred bits. Funcarious. Thank you for the five hundred. Yeah. You're uh, so thank kid. you, for the void sub. Thank you for the sub. Gambling thank you, gambling man. man. Gambling man. So cute. So cute. What does this gambling man say? Uh, 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 so, just Sean, uh, thank you. Thank you for the sub. WJ says, thank you for the bets. Thank you, Crusader with Laura. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You're so, so cute. So cute. Oh, oh, I, I see you. Right, there we go. I see you. 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 Thank you, Fudge 99. Thank you. So cute. You guys are so cute. Thank you. Oh, my God. Fun carry us. 500 bits. Ooh. Uh, dude, thank you to everybody who tunes in live. Uh, the folks folks who show up, man, that's, uh, uh, you know, there, there, there's, there's two currencies. I, I guess three. I, it doesn't matter. Uh, we love everybody, uh, especially everybody who's here right now live. And that's, that's yeah. I'll tell you what, absolutely. And and you know, uh, uh, I think we we definitely uh, you know I think we're, we 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 thought we were going to be on the front page, but we definitely have a, a a boost in our in our viewership. So thank you to everybody that found the show while we were uh, while we were live on the front page. So a uh, uh, fucking awesome possum, uh, Bryce. We got a game. Yeah, we do. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Cryptocurrencies are sweeping the nation. Uh, yeah. I mean the world, really. Yeah, all nations. As we all know. They, they rise in value forever, and they're more stable than anything. That's right. Um, uh, you know, Bitcoin's worth, like, what, $11,000 a coin now? Oh, I think someone, someone in the chat room just said just hit 12, 12K while we were on the air. Good God. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Sunbun in the chat was saying that one year ago, it was, like, less than $800. That is amazing. Yeah. Well, it was, it, like, within the past, uh, I want to say month it was only down to like half of what it is now it was only like five thousand it's 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 there's it's a very well, as wild we all world. know bryce uh these this is indicative of a highly stable good place to put all of your money is when something more than doubles in value in less than four w weeks <laughs> that usually means it's it's a safe bet it's forever super solid and you really just put all of your money into it now because even these specific instances of cryptocurrency have no history of of just tanking after huge spikes. Uh, but I, legit. I I I went and um, uh, I, I I found someone had uh, like three years ago someone had given me like ten dollars in in Bitcoin and now it's like three hundred and fifty dollars and it's. I think it's, we're frozen. Are we? Okay. Well, uh, I will do that. Thank you, audio listeners, for enjoying that. Um, and, and I found that there are over 1,300 different types of cryptocurrencies out there in the world today. 1,300. Now, okay, that's the thing. Is like Everyone's like, oh, I was too late for Bitcoin. Well, the good news is we're about to give you 1,299 other ground floors for you to yeah. get in on. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just take the, the, take the door Dogecoin. Uh, uh, take take the the Mazda the Maroi coin. Just uh, uh, buy some cryptocurrency. Set yourself free. <laughs> so we're, so, I, <laughs> so I, what, I honestly did not recognize that song at all until the very last line. That's amazing. <laughs> so I uh, I spent a few hours today pouring through uh, uh, some of these crypto coins, and some of them are just. Completely wacky. Uh, so, is there going to play a game here that uh, is lovingly called Coin or Con? Uh, I'm going to give you guys a Bitcoin, and I have some statistics and, and description information. And all you have to do is tell me if it's a real or a fake cryptocurrency that is available today. Ah. Uh, this information comes to us from CoinMarketCap.com, uh, and uh, uh, if it's real, who? Uh, if it's real, we're going to have you guys guess on. Uh, what you think the value is, and and we'll do points like that, as all as all. All right, cool. All right, right on. So we're gonna start with uh, number one. We're gonna go with Brian first. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Woodcoin with the uh, uh, indicator symbol L O G log. Woodcoin's reward decrease is a harmonic series, which more closely models renewable resources rather than non-renewable. This means that while it is always better to chop logs today than tomorrow, there will still always be an incentive to secure the network tomorrow. This is 
an environmental cryptocurrency? Well, it's it's based off of the ideas of renewable energy. I don't. Some of these do tout their their eco friendliness. I don't think this one does. Uh, wait, quick on, wait, no, it, it is the it is a lesser woke uh, cryptocurrency <laughs> compared to some of the other ones I've seen today. Yes, so it, it, it's not one of the ones that is like, oh, we're you know, one coin doesn't equal the uh, enough uh, electricity power to power a home for nine years. Shit, that that Are all these cryptocurrencies going to be like Mega Man bad guys. <laughs> Yeah, next one is cut yeah, coin. Yeah, it's like you got to defeat the log coin with fire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, so I can tell. You, I, I'll give you a little bit more information here. Uh, Woodcoin's market cap uh, at this moment is two point six million dollars USD. So that's the amount of perceived value to the currency anywhere. So the market cap, uh, the way coin market cap generally um, generally calculates that is uh, how many of the coins are available and their perceived value. Uh, man, that seems tiny. Um, I will say that it sounds real enough to me. It doesn't sound any dumber than anything else. I mean, understand, like, like the baseline is Dogecoin, right? Like, if that's the thing... And, and 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 by the way, uh, friend of the show, Father Robert Balser, is is a Dogecoin uh, gazillionaire. Uh, oh, yeah, I, because Doge, Dogecoin shut down because they they like hyper deflated or something, and now they're, they're now they're totally worthless. I I, I blame. Uh, technically, I blame Jesus Father Robert. Is Dogecoin billionaire? If <laughs> Father Robert is a Dogecoin billionaire, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to say this sounds real. It's, it seems so real. Justin, do you think it's real? <sighs> hey, uh, sh should we should we play this one as uh, uh, Brian and I together against uh, against against the banker? Or, 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 yeah, or no, no, I, I think yeah, we should. I think that's Right. Okay. I I'm gonna say it's not real. I think I think that you're gonna start us off with a little with a little funny funny monkey business because uh, we don't know jackass about this uh, this this uh, realm of the internet. I changed my mind. I don't want to be on the same team with him. <laughs> yeah, you guys would have to come to the same conclusion if you're playing against me. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we're 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 separate. Okay. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Somebody... that's probably better. That's probably better because because we can also bet on uh, the values. Also, yeah. So there's so, there's uh, incentive to say. Uh, real quick, somebody in the chat just said uh, I lost my shirt in Camel Cash, which most people I'm assuming have never heard of. What is that? But Camel Cash was a real thing in the late '90s. I remember seeing uh, Zamora the Torture King do. Uh, he was he was part of the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow. He came through touring, and and Mr. Lifto made a guest appearance and stuff. And he stopped his show midway to ask everyone for Camel Cash. Uh, oh no no wait, I'm I'm completing it because he was actually sponsored by Camel. I think it was uh, I think it was Toad the Wet Sprocket. That's right, it was Toad the Wet Sprocket. I saw stop the concert. To collect everybody's spare camel cash. And so these are notes sponsored by the Camel Cigarette Corporation? They were reward yeah, they're, they're basically, basically. If, if you, like you chose a... camel uh, as your smoke of choice, then you would get camel cash. Marlboro had Marlboro points. And there'd be these, like, fucking uh, 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 catalogs with the shit you could buy with camel cash. Wow. That's... Yeah, they were reward points, basically loyalty stuff. But, oh, yeah. but yeah. they, you know, you, uh, no matter how you came upon them, uh, as long as you had the camel cash, you could just spend it. God, that's weird that the Wits Brocket did that. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that is a weird thing. Show title right there, man. <laughs> weird that Toad the Wets Brocket did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Justin, your answer of fake is uh, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Unfortunately, Woodcoin is uh, very real. Uh, uh, Woodcoin is valued at thirty-two point nine seven cents USD. <laughs> thirty-two cents. Thirty-two Yay! cents. But there are That's eight million. Almost twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> well, and there are eight million logs circulating. So there you go. Uh, let's jump down to. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Justin, you're going to start off with this one. With the uh, with the market tag of eight oh eight, 
We've got 808 coin. Designed for a growing community, the 808 coin was developed in mind for those who wish to contribute individual support distinguishable among, for, among other alternative cryptocurrencies while honoring the TR Roland 808 drum machine and the music industry across all genres. Establishing an equal and long-term goal for a growing altcoin that will assist in creating profits for those who wish to embark with us in the future production. Join and help us grow. Appreciate the 808. This is the 808 coin. All right. So uh, the first one was like a semi-environmental kind of message. And now it's just for SoundCloud beat makers. Is that really what the target demo here is on the 808 coin? Yeah, their website is uh, 808base.space. I'm going to say it's real. Dude, this is so not real. Uh, unless the Beastie Boys prophesied it when they said, we be rocking rhythms like an 808, money making, money, money making. Dude, fake, fake, fake. Because, look, you got to get inside Bryce Castillo's mind. Bryce would like nothing more than for this to be real. That's why he's manufacturing it. This is you think this is a game? This is a pitch. He's figured out <laughs> that he can give a TED talk right here on the show and people will be like, "Well, if that's not real, it should be and he'll be the kingpin of it." Yeah. And My by by the way, I guarantee you check out 808.space or whatever it is, uh 808base.space. Guess who already has registered that domain? Bryce the Conniver Castillo. The Conniver? <laughs> That's a that's a that's a nickname we've heard for a while now, but finally it's come true. The prophecy has been fulfilled. <laughs> well, it came along when I started taking large portions of the show for my TED Talk style monologues. <laughs> <laughs> it happened right under our nose, Justin. How did we not see it? God damn it. All right. All right, All right. Uh, 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 BCC, what you got? <laughs> uh, Justin, your answer of real is... is a very real coin uh and uh, this is price you you know you know everything i say was just a bit <laughs> and i would never accuse you of ever uh, trying uh. to hijack this platform <laughs> uh the 808 coin is worth 0. 0.0087 united states cents there are currently <laughs> 3.97 billion 808 coins circulating for a market cap of 347,000 <laughs> US dollars. Uh, outside of the name, is there anything about the algorithm that's particularly 808 y? Um, hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the Mr. Show sketch where it's like they're, they're calling out uh, uh, Ben and Jerry's, where. <laughs> Where they cut in, it's like, well, try new rock and roller cherry ice cream. And it cuts to a, a very uh, clean cut, you know, very uh, you know, wearing suspenders, like a very corporate. He's like, I'm Ira ice cream or whatever. And we figure that people like ice cream and they'll buy more if we have the words rock and roll at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, we're starting with you on, on number three. SpyCoin with the market icon uh, SPY. SpyCoin is a limited supply digital cryptocurrency with a focus on secure data, smart, uh, sorry, on secure data smart contracts and always encrypted transaction hashes. SpyCoin lives up to its name with secure end-to-end -end encrypted messaging and small data transfer features, and wallets have Tor built directly into the wallet to ensure safe private transactions. This is SpyCoin. No, not real. Private spies are uh, coining, coining you, in you. <laughs> finding your every move. All right, so Brian's saying fake, Jerbs. Wait, why do you think it's fake? Uh, I, I'm not going to say until you give your answer. <laughs> it's even. You guys are evenly tied. Brian the concealer brushwood. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to get too meta gamey, but I feel like we're due, we're due for a, 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 a fake Rooney here. Yeah, that's, again, that's Bryce, definitely Bryce part of my strategy disciple. for sure. Bryce is is a disciple of the Newman School of quiz making, <laughs> which is like uh, uh, has the meta the, the meta game to the meta gaming built in, and will like 
fucking Mikey has like, like, yes, like, like there's a non-zero not- possibility. Oh. Uh, there's a non-zero possibility that every single one of these is real, right? Yeah. Um. Mm. I kind of feel like this is like uh, the, the the whole tour wallet thing like that. That seems like something that would go along with the that's that's the part that triggered my my bullshit alarm. The tour wallet. Yeah, it's too it's too on the nose. And also all the security experts are like, you know, tour is not actually secure. It's uh, all the all the exit nodes are are created by the government. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm Crypto Man, <laughs> eight seven seven. I'm oh, very God. active in these forums. Uh, I'm writing you to you today to, to complain <laughs> about the way you guys talked about the spy oh, coin on us. Night Attack. They're writing to us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, oh, Crypto yes. Man. I, wow. I was in charge of making the decision of what podcast all of us in the forum would listen to. <laughs> and I was a fan of Night Attack. I said yeah. I believed in what they were about. But Justin Robert Young. Oh, no, uh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, no. Dramatic paragraph break. That was until tonight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, shit. You want to know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say spy coin is real. Are you going to say spy coin is real? All right. Well, Justin, your answer of real is, where is it? Where's my thing? Your answer is. Ah! Spy coin is fake. I made it up though. The line about Tor being built directly into the wallet is a thing that I lifted word for word from another wallet. Oh, another service. Yeah, but you see, I, I, and, and, and I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that, but I, <laughs> I felt like that's the last thing the creators of SpyCoin <laughs> would, would, would do is, is, is <laughs> bother with, <laughs> like, trying to. Front Street. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, let's see. We're starting with Justin on this one. This is uh, with the market indicator FYN. This is Fund Yourself Now. Fund Yourself Now is a simple platform to allow project creators slash promoters to raise funds for their projects using cryptocurrencies without the need of technical knowledge. This has a market cap of 1.5 million USD. Well, don't have a cow. Fund yourself now. <laughs> Go eat some pie, spy. <laughs> I'm just saying, 50 ways to mine your Bitcoin is gonna be my new fucking parody hit. <laughs> Dr. Domeno, is he still alive? Uh, uh, wait, what was this again? It's, Go fund yourself. <laughs> fund yourself now. It's a platform uh, to use cryptocurrencies to raise funds for projects. It seems like bullshit. It seems like another fucking Bryce the Conniver Castillo uh, concoction. <laughs> BCC. Uh, yeah, I actually think. You know what? I don't know. My gut. What's the market cap on it? Where? What's the coin cap? Uh, the market cap is 1.5 million USD. See, that's low enough. I, I, I think it might be real. I'm going to say real. Ooh, all right. You're going to say all real. Right. Justin's going to say fake. I am. Brian, your answer of real is... Is correct. Uh, some of the some of the projects that fund yourself now with its one, uh, $1.87 valuation... Uh, is funding include other cryptocurrencies. Almost all of these are just different cryptocurrencies, including CycloShield, a cryptocurrency about uh, protecting people on their bicycles somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I swear you should have done CycloShield. I would have said fake in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, because it's already been subsumed by CumShield. <laughs> 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 
All right. Uh, this is uh, number five. We're going to start with Brian again. Brian, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mao Zedong. This is with the market symbol MAO. Mao Zedong coin takes some influence from Putin coin, although in real life, Mao was far ahead of Putin in capabilities and the ability to play politics at the Niccolo Machiavelli level. This coin takes no influence from the devs that suddenly used Georgian and Russian ex-leaders of the CCCP and a German economist slash philosopher. Those were stolen ideas. With a market cap of 1.02 million USD, Mao Zedong. I don't want to live in a world where this is a real thing, but that impulse makes me believe that it is real. And I've never, I can honestly say until today, I've never wanted to punch a cryptocurrency in the face <laughs> until just now. <laughs> Mal coin put, uh, bu bu bushed you over the edge, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's real. I hate, I hate these words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, Brian says Mao Zedong is real. Justin? What well, make call now, Mao? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's real. It's real. Okay, boys, both of your answers of real are. Where's the button? Where's the button? <laughs> Now, since you guys tied on this one, and since uh, Brian went first on this, Brian, what do you think the value of Mao Zedong is? What do you think the value of one coin of Mao Zedong is? One hundred pennies. <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> it's the people's coin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin, what do, you, what do you think the value of a Mao Zedong one is? One child only. <laughs> <laughs> one, one coin per child. Also, one you better only have child. one child. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah, you can only have one Mao Zedong. And his son says the nineteen eighty four dollars. Uh, all right. So you said it was a buck, Brian. A hundred pennies. Yeah. And we're gonna do closest rules. I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna go ninety nine cents. I think it's under a dollar. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good enough. But it dun 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 dun. Mao Zedong coin as is worth as of earlier this morning sixteen cents. <sighs> Justin takes the point. Uh, allow me to show you very briefly the Mao Zedong website which is at the conspicuously still available mao-zedong.net. Uh, the very first thing is an auto-playing, unmutable video of the Beatles performing Revolution. <laughs> well, that's, that seems, uh, that seems uh, like, like an explicit endorsement. <laughs> uh, you've got uh, some links to their wallet and their coin, uh, their, their coin stuff. And then just some images of Mao Zedong promotional or propaganda po posters. Uh, including Mao Zedong is regarded as one of the most important individuals in modern world history. Uh, so therefore, that must mean this branded cryptocurrency is valuable. Mao Zedong is also known as a political theorist, was a first-rate military strategist, was also a poet and writer. So, you know, Mao oh Zedong. Oh, my coin. God. Incredible. Uh, uh, all right. Well, there we go. Who knew people wouldn't want to invest in a possibly uh, a tongue-in-cheek uh, currency named after somebody who murdered hundreds of thousands, if not millions? All right, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna jump the gun on this next one. This is Lana Coin. I'm gonna tell you now that Lana Coin is real. You guys are gonna bet on the value of Lana Coin, Justin. You're gonna give uh, a number since Brian did it last time. Uh, but instead of reading you the pitch. I'm going to play for you the pitch video on their website. It's only it's oh only, my god! It's only forty seconds, and hey, it stars 
the Ad Twins. What is LanaCoin? LanaCoin is a decentralized digital cryptocurrency based on the popular black coin. LanaCoin is one of the first personalized cryptocurrencies created by a geek father from Slovenia for his daughter's 10th birthday. Want to get involved? Go to www.lanacoin.com to learn more. LanaCoins has a total supply of 7.5 billion LanaCoins. Yep, that's correct. One LanaCoin for every living soul on the planet. Planet. Who owns LanaCoin? Everyone and no one. LanaCoin is open source software and anyone can contribute to its development. Happy birthday, Lana. We hope you love your birthday present. Can we go back to that lady's heart? Yeah. I, I, I have never seen that version of it either. Uh, that's adorable. Yeah. I, that, I, I that was like, she was like, like, she was like really good at signaling, like, like she could do like, like, do you ever know people that could do the crip thing? Yeah, or, or, no, no, I could no, do the blood, blood thing. Blood, did did right. you ever did you ever do the blood thing? Yeah, I, I don't really remember it, but on, here. I, I think I remember it. Hold on. This uh, is a great I visual set down bit. the mic though. This is great. We should have been on the front page so Brian could signal his affiliation for the Bloods. This is almost certainly a TOS violation. <laughs> this is almost certainly. Brian's signaling the fact that he's a card-carrying member of the Bloods. <laughs> Bloods. Yes, the Bloods have cards You know what? That's, that's, a, that's probably a good point. That's, you had a pretty uh, solid uh, blue there for a sec, Brian, though. <laughs> uh, you know, let's let's just pretend the last few seconds didn't happen. Sure. Uh, Justin... Yeah. How much is uh, as of this right as, as of this very moment? How much is Lana Coin worth in U.S. dollars? Just tap your mana, Lana. <laughs> uh. Lana Coin. I'm gonna say that Lana Coin is worth. Dollar fifty. One dollar fifty cents. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take the deep under on that like i'm not gonna do no 99 cents on the dollar like a certain somebody does i think this is less than a penny so i'm gonna say 98 cents <laughs> all right sure <laughs> okay uh less than a penny so it's 98 cents I mean, I'm just covering a lot of territory. I, I'm not going to. You know what? I'll say less than a penny. I'll say less than a penny. Okay. Uh, Lana coin is worth. What is that? Three ten thousandths of a, of a dollar. Point zero 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 three dollars. <laughs> Brian, you. Yes. You get it by a very wide margin. <laughs> it turns out I could have gone way uh, a few more zeros. You probably could have added some more zeros. Yeah, you're gonna find that a lot of these are very low value coins. Uh, dude, that what? what uh, can I just say that of all the comedy podcasts currently uh, streaming on Twitch, whether or not they're on the front page, I will put us at the forefront of cutting edge humor in that we just got 30 minutes out of. <laughs> cryptocurrencies. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Fuck you, Ice Cream Social. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I was listening to Ice Cream Social and uh, heard, uh, uh, I guess it, uh, I was listening yesterday uh, and it had just come out. Uh, Matt Donnelly is doing his Hillbill Magic Show in uh, Las Vegas. And I guess last night was the, the test premiere for a bunch of um, uh, magicians. And uh, I had talked about flying out to go see it, but but I couldn't because this um, vacation, air quotes, uh, that I'm on right now came up. And so uh, so I gave him a call. It, it's so awesome to be able to pause a podcast, call the person, and then end the phone call by saying, now I'm going to hang up and listen to the version of you that doesn't talk back. Bye. <laughs> and then go back to, to it. Is that tonight or was that last night? That was last night. I I haven't found out how it went yet. Uh, I'm sure it'll be on their show, and uh, uh, I I am gonna I, I instead of going back to Austin once I'm done in New York, I'm gonna go to Las Vegas. So I wait, think I'll when? be there fr Friday night. Oh, cause I'm in Vegas like next week. Oh damn, we're just gonna barely miss each other. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to be on their show, uh, when I go to Vegas for, uh, the, oh, uh, great. the Golden Knights thing. Dude, it's a lot of fun. It makes me, uh, look, I think what we've done on Night Attack is very special and I'll always be proud of it and it's great. But when you see 
It is uh, garbage compared to them. No, 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 no. That, that, that's not the my point at all. Like, just, I'm so in love with... Uh, it's just awesome to be in the same room with everyone. Like our best shows are when we're in the same room together. What? Yeah. No. Yeah, don't, oh, yes. No. Yeah. Being in the same room makes things a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, and it's like I don't know. I, I I wish I wish we could be like uh, birds flying free in a lag free environment, but uh, such is not for us. <laughs> so we will be funny and then hand the mic over. And say over at the end of each sentence, like we're using the walkie talkie. It's a good sell. Over. This is a real nice hard sell on Night Attack for everybody. <laughs> yeah. It really shows all the confidence we built up after being on <laughs> the Twitch French page for a month. <laughs> Independent yeah. for four uh, years uh, now? No, it's, it's great. You're going to have a great time, and they're, they're super great. They're, uh, uh, they're great, and the show's great. Uh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, we got a few more here. If you, guys, if you guys have got it in you right now, we're five to three by my count. Uh, Brian is up with five points. And on this one, Brian's going to start. I'm going to tell you a little bit about money. This is market sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Here's a description from their website. I want you to deal with all of your problems by becoming rich. Let me tell you something. There's no nobility in poverty. I've been a poor man and I've been a rich man. And I choose rich every fucking time. If anyone thinks I'm superficial or materialistic, go get a job at that fucking McBoop because it's been censored on their website. Because that's where you belong. Today, the concept of business is to make money. Making money is the name of the business. With a market cap of 78,000 US dollars, Brian, is money real or fake? <laughs> money has to be real. Please let it be real. I want to believe uh, uh, this big of an asshole is a real person. That's just from Wolf of Wall Street, isn't it? I believe so. I think that's like literally just dialogue lifted from Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's real. You're both going to say it's real. Gentlemen, your answer of real is... Just trash enough that you knew it had to be real. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we'll do a little bonus point on this. Uh, let's see. What is this? Brian, what is the value of money in U.S. dollars? By which I mean this very specific coin, cryptocurrency money. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, money itself is worth one U.S. dollar for every one U.S. dollar. <laughs> um, I'm going to say point zero zero. 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 Okay, this is four zeros. Zero one dollars. Ten hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So one millionth of a cent. Got it. No, wait. No. Uh, ten hundred thousand. Five thousand. five zeros and on the dollar. So it should be three zeros and a one of a cent. Oh, of a cent. Or I said I said of a dollar, so that would boost it up to be point zero 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 one cents. Okay, so point zero zero one cents. Okay, I'm zero, going zero, to go zero, one cents. For, for clarity's sake, let's let's do it in dollars in in dollars notation. Yeah. So five zeros and a one of dollars. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Justin, where do you think it is compared to point zero 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 one cent? Or, I'm sorry, no, one I said uh, dollar. One dollar. I swear I got you. Like, oh, eat my butt. <laughs> eat my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Pre show you know, bits. I, I, really, I really would just love if somebody took that clip and just whenever you say eat my butt, just add a uh, 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 sitcom studio laughter, like it's catchphrase. <laughs> Or better yet, the uh, the the studio going. Ooh. I'll be the butt man. <laughs> clip that, clip that, put it on a soundboard. <laughs> Use those back to back. <laughs> Don't eat my butt. I'll be the butt man. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> one cent, Alex. Just one cent. Point zero zero one dollars. 
no, I'm sorry, point zero one dollars. Yeah. Uh, with a value of one tenth of one cent, the winner is Justin Robert Young. Point zero zero one six nine dollars right now. Wow. For money. Money, money. There are 45 million uh, money coins uh, in circulation. That's pretty, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I got that uh, for a loop there. Money's, money's actually a good tag. That's a, that's a good handle. That's good branding because money is, I can't believe nobody's done that before. It's just strange I guess somebody has. that they would use the dollar sign as their symbol. Yeah. Yes, that's because the dollar sign is is the literal uh, or the figurative manifestation of faith in American currency. All right, that make was make bees make honey, money. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. All right, it is six to five as we go into our last question. Brian, you are on the advantage, so Justin's going to answer first. I'm going to tell you a little bit about a coin called. I can find it. Called Strong Hands with the stock with the stock market. Or, sorry, with the symbol S H N D. Are you sure it's not S I R I <laughs> from <laughs> Australia? The entire the entire cryptocurrency community suffer from one ailment: the ailment weak of, hands, <laughs> the ailment <laughs> of disloyalty. It's the cancer what? that is eating away at our very survival. This coin solves that problem. If you got them weak hands, this coin ain't for you. If you can go the distance, crank up them miners and get to work. Strong Hands has a market cap of zero dollars. Siri, uh, should I invest in big strong hands? <laughs> well, what you want to do is go ahead out there and start typing on your computer. I would do it with my big strong hands, and I would, I would go ahead and I would hit the keys with such a thunder that everybody in the neighborhood would be startled. And then I would, I would, I would set my mind as to download and mine some big strong hands cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> well, your big man is strong <laughs> great. hands, real <laughs> fake. I but think that strong hands is real. I think that that this is one of those uh, Bryce brings this shit up in the Discord and everybody goes out looking for shit and of course they're gonna be uh, excited about finding some uh, in show reference that happens to be uh, other stuff. Strong hands makes sense. Uh, obviously, it was a character on the show. I think strong hands is real. Brian, I mean that logic is pretty unassailable and. I'm trying real hard for sake of entertainment purposes to uh, find a case to say it's not real, but uh, I, I agree with Justin 100%. I think it's real. All right. If you both are going to say it's real, let's play the value game. How much is strong hands worth? Justin. Anyway. The the, 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 the the Lenina in the chat says I'm investing in Jam Slunt Jomper coin. <laughs> 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 jam Slunt Jomper coin. Jam Slunt jump, jump, Jomper coin. Uh, all right, I'm going to say that this is point. Zero zero two point zero zero two dollars. So two tenths of one cent. Brian, is strong hands three high? tenths of one cent? I say you're gonna say it's higher. Yeah. Wait, hold on. What's the what's the market cap? Zero zero dollars. Oh. Well, then I say it's less. I say it's point zero 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 one. Uh, no, wait, no. Zero oh, zero yeah, one. That is one. That, that is less. Okay. Yeah. At a current market valuation of $2.80 times E to the negative eight, 
Strong Justin. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no, Brian gets the point and the win. Congratulations to Brian. <laughs> it's so valueless. They had to use scientific notation to express just how worthless it was. That's amazing. That's right. Two point eight, e and this is down. This is down from two point nine when I looked at it this morning. So oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Like, is it owe something? Strong hands owe somebody something? Well, they owe the 12 billion strong hand coins that are out in circulation right now. Uh, this is their website, and it's kind of fucking wild, right? Like, this is the coin, and it's just a strong hand. And it's... <laughs> and the, the, the description that I read you earlier is their entire introductory description for the coin. Well, there we go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's not a bad logo for a coin. Okay, now, is do they colloquially call, uh, I, don't, I don't know, a wallet of Bitcoin a hand or something? Uh, no, I think they just call like, it. Like, just, just big, strong hands. It's just called. Yeah. Also, is there a chance, like, is there a hidden Diamond Club logo in here? Is there a chance that one of this was, like, made, like, over the last three weeks by one of our own? That would what be... I'm going to do to disloyalty in the cryptocurrency community is bend it with my big strong hands. I'm going to take it. <laughs> uh, apparently, Strong Hands debuted in September 2015. Wow. So, so we're the ones that ripped them off. Yeah. Way to go, Australian That's Siri. Jam slunt, jam slunt jumper coin, man. That's where I'm going to put my retirement. I'm going to retire on jam slunts. <laughs> jam slunt jumper coin. Uh, dude, good game, Bryce. Thank you That's guys. a good one. Uh, if you uh, want to come up with ideas or just find out ahead of time what the games are going to be, join the Discord, nightattack.tv slash Discord. I know there's some rumblings going on about uh, figuring out ways to uh, create some sort of stream team with all those diamond clubbers who go out there and do streams and podcasts and videos and stuff. So check out the Discord because a lot of that conversation is happening right this instant. One more time, that's nightattack.tv slash Discord. And if you have a game, send it into mail at nightattack.tv. And if we use your game, we will send you stickers from Stickers or DIF. Absolutely. Yeah, no, just, uh, yeah, if, you're, if your shit makes it on here, man, we're going to fucking, we're going to put you on the sticker side. How about this one, though? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Diamond Time. That's right. Diamond Time is the the segment of the show every week where uh, where the guys are going to read uh, three of your posts here on diamondclub.reddit.com or reddit.com slash r slash diamondclub. You find the diamond weekly Diamond Time submission thread right stickied at the top. Uh, and we're just going to jump right into the first one. Uh, you guys maybe need to refresh your page if you just loaded it up because we just took it out of random mode. Oh, cool. All right. Well, how about this one? We're going to start out with RJ Jackson 91. He says, hey, guys, I live in St. Joseph's, Missouri, which is one of the most impoverished communities in America, and it gets cold as balled out here. Thousands of us are without functioning furnaces, and last winter we actually had temps in the negative 20s. So I started a fundraiser to buy portable electric space heaters, and the first fundraiser actually tripled the goal, and my local news is going to interview me about the second one I'm doing. So, of course... I'm going to try and slip a diamond club in and see if they use it. So, uh, so far, I have furnished 27 homes that would have gone without heat, and I want the diamond club to keep it going. Be sure to throw a diamond in the comments so I knows it's one of us. Head on over there, gofundme.com slash St. Joseph Space Heaters. That is uh, up on St. Joseph and Space Heaters, but gofundme.com slash St. Joseph Space Heaters. Man, I love this. Uh, uh, doing evil for good. It's the best. Uh, w Scottus One says, hey, guys, W Scottus One here. Reminder, once again, that tonight, yes, tonight, right after Night Attack wraps up, we will go live on twitch.tv slash W Scottus One and play some of the new Jackbox games and you, the audience, get to play too. That's right. Tuesday night, game night is back, baby. On Wednesday, we'll play some Fortnite, and we'll still have our regular game night stream on Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. This jam-packed week is all happening at twitch.tv slash wscottis1. Be there or be squared, by which I assume he means he will duplicate you into four of you. Absolutely. And Green Machine HS. Who likes alcohol and sports ball? What if we were talking about small market teams that aren't widely adored? Here's the short and sweet. 
blazer tag isn't just a place where Brian hangs out with Alex Jones. <laughs> it's also a podcast where me and my two buddies get drunk and talk about the NBA's Portland Trail Blazers. Both of, uh, of you Blazer fans and Diamond Club should come over and subscribe to Blazer Tag, where podcasts are found. Uh, you can also go to blazertagpodcast.com for, uh, for all the, uh, the, the, the Portland Trail Blazer news you can handle. Nice, nice. We, we did just cut over to another empty, empty Brian chair. Uh, <clears throat> shall we take a look at the movie draft minutes? Yeah, let's do that in uh, like thirty seconds. Of course, this is about yeah. the movie you want, draft. I'm, I'm tired of hearing about all these movies. Uh, I really need to know all the latest deets, uh, right? Here, yeah, here we go, uh, Mr. Roberto Viegas. Hey, why don't you why don't you tell us about it? And go, and go. Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute, presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of December 4th, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. Well, the year is almost up. All of our movies are almost released. And we've almost come to our main event. But, until that time, let's go check the score. Team Frog Pants are in 6th place. You know the drill. Team Feline is in 5th place, $152.6 million. Team Jury is in 4th place, $299.9 million. Team Big and Tall is in 3rd place. The Zastra is bringing in $1.3 million, bringing their total to $312.5 million. Team Champions are in 2nd place with $354.2 million. And in 1st place, the whopping $413.9 million. It's Team Core Killers. And that is your move tournament for the week of December 4th, 2017. Dude, this is an insane garbage season. Thor still hasn't broken 300 million. Justice League still hasn't broken 200 million. And Coco, one of the best Pixar movies I've seen in years, is still at 111 million. This is, this is going to be an insane blowout when Jedi comes to town. Yeah, you know, I, I I I hate I hate to agree with you, but I think you're you you're dead on here because even though Coco has done well, it just hasn't done Pixar well, you know. Yeah, well, and and it's too bad because it really is one of one of the better Pixar pieces. You know, it's like I I liked it a lot. Um, it reminded me of the kind of bold maneuver they did on Wall-E and stuff. I I, I don't know, it, it, or Up. You know, I don't know. I liked it a lot. Tell you what, though, there, there was uh, there was some uh, some real sneaky. Uh, 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 you guys had had real sneaky picks with Daddy's Home Two and Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, uh, for uh, they both are they, they might tickle a hundred thousand. They're both in the eighties now. Wonder though, that was a hell of a pick by by Cord Killers. That's definitely probably going to hit a hundred. But look, what Jedi. Was, what was just the movie a, Wonder about? Uh, wow. That was wow. Wonders Wonders about. That kid who's got a weird face. Wow. And, and, and it's me and Julia Roberts who are uh, the parents. And we both have kind of famously weird faces. Wow. <laughs> uh, so uh, Tom told me he watched uh, The Shape of Water and thought it was great. And I'm real excited about it. Yeah. Um, that lady's going to have sex with that monster man. <laughs> that, wow <laughs> that's my new bit is i'm i'm just watching her have sex with a fish wow wow have you seen have you seen the shape of water wow you know that helen keller has sex with the monster man wow helen keller god damn it oh man she loves boiled eggs wow <laughs> so does wow. the fish she signs uh, into your hand or is that coco the ape i can't remember wow <laughs> Uh, did did we talk about this on this show or only on Court Killers? I heard that Shape of Water was originally intended as a prequel to Hellboy, like uh, it was the backstory of one of the Hellboy team characters, and then they didn't uh, get the license, really? so he was like, "Yeah, whatever." Names are changed now. It's it's this. So eat donkey balls, companies. Uh, I've heard it's really really good. Um, uh, you know all, all the all the critical. Uh... Uh, uh, responses on it are are good, but yeah, I guess Del Toro is insisting for legal purposes that this is not an Abe Sapien prequel. Yeah, that seems like something you would say if uh, maybe word had gotten out that this was definitely an Abe Sapien prequel. 
Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, it, it is going to be, I think, a little anticlimactic because right now Court Killers is up top, uh, but they only have The Greatest Showman to go. And uh, So, okay, Greatest Showman, most charitable, optimistic possibility is Thor cranks out another $20 million along with Wonder or whatever, and then the greatest showman does 150 million. He tried to say with a straight face. I mean that that puts you at the upper end of 500 million, uh, or uh, like nearing 600 million. I mean it's just Last Jedi is going to crush this, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, I was feeling really good about the the the, the Jumanji reviews that were coming out because apparently the the Jumanji movie is not terrible. Uh, and then apparently, uh, you know, everybody who has Prime can watch it like a week early. Before it comes out in theaters. Wait, wait, what? It's going to be on Amazon Prime for a day. Everybody what can did... watch the new Jumanji movie. Okay, well then that that equals box office garbage. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, everybody who bought it. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I'll be able to watch it early. You. And apparently it's pretty good. And nobody's going to go see it in theaters. Oh, man. Uh, dude, well, I'll tell you what, I got a, I got a early call time for, uh, for the golf Vacation course. Vacation time that you're at. Uh, well, I'll yeah. tell you what, let's go ahead and wrap it up then. Uh, Brian, uh, anything you want to get out of there? Uh, man, dude, it's been a while since, uh, I've done one of these from the road and it was a lot of fun. I, I really needed this and, and it's, it's good to see you guys again. And that was a great game, Bryce. That was a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll tell you, what, you still got a bunch of shit at uh, uh, Scam Stuff, right? Oh, yeah, uh, I guess, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the sales are over, but uh, we're still everything. I think everything you can buy right now will deliver in time for Christmas. So if you're thinking of gifts, uh, take a look over at scamstuff.com. Hey, what? Wait, I uh, saw Oak Revenge hat with a stickers or DIAF. Uh, uh, oh, that hat made me so. Bought. That made me so, so happy. It looks so boss. In fact, I'm going to say that's the only way to get a Rogue's Revenge hat is to make sure to uh, to put on the Diamond Club patch available at stickers or DIAF.com. Absolutely. And we only got like 20 more of those. So fucking get it. Get in now. Buy those patches now uh, at stickers or DIAF.com. God, those, uh, those pins look amazing, man. Uh, all right. Look, love you guys. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>